well, one of the challenges with topology optimization is the computation. And if, especially if we want to design extremely high resolution model, for instance, if we want to design this uh, statue, which has a very detailed geometry, we have to discretize it uh, by a very high resolution. For, in, for instance, in this case, we have as a resolution of 600 times 400 times 1000. And in this case, we have 40 million elements. And this was a research we did about four years ago. We developed a very efficient finite element analysis code to do simulation and optimization. And we could reduce the computation from a few hours or even a few days to a few minutes, which is significant. Uh, this brings topology optimization from a tool only um, applicable to aerospace and automotive industry to consumer products. So we hope to bring this tool even at real time. So for the design of consumer products or even customized products, you can play with it. Um, so this was the research we did four years ago. Uh, we applied it to design this internal structure or the support structure in the statue. The force is applied on the hand. And uh, you could observe the head and the tripod, they are empty because apparently force is not transmitted to this region. Uh, it transmits through, through three passes to the fixation on the ground. And on the right hand side is fabricated with uh, FDM printing. This video shows a few more examples of 3D topology optimization. Let's have a look. So the optimal structure is adapted for different forces. Very interesting, if we have a distributed load, uh, we observe many bubbles. And this is a combination of distributed pressure load and the three concentrated loads. We also have a different model uh, with 12, almost 12 million elements. Again, with the pressure load, we have very interesting bubbles. I like it very much. And then this is a compilation of distributed load and concentrated load. Uh, my colleagues at DTU Denmark make a step even further. They simulate the entire airplane wing with extremely high resolution. So here they have a few billion finite elements and at this scale they could come up with a detailed optimized geometry. And this research was published uh, in Nature in 2017. Topology optimization. So until now, uh, the examples, the chair, the airplane wing, uh, the bunny and the kitten, they are optimized for stiffness. Uh, topology optimization also applies to other physical phenomena uh, for different mechanical performance measure. Uh, these five examples I selected to explain to you that it is a very versatile process applies to many different physical phenomena. Um, on the top left, it is optimization of material with negative Poisson ratio, which is also called oxidative material. Normally the material has a positive Poisson ratio, which means if you compress the material in the X direction, it will expand in the Y direction. This is normal, this is as expected. But with negative Poisson ratio, you compress along X direction, it also shrinks in Y direction. And this is counterintuitive. So by uh, designing microstructure or architectured geometry, this block, if you consider this block as a material, it has negative Poisson ratio. Let's have a look at this animation. Uh, okay. Uh, now, if you look at this animation, if we compress it in the x direction, the y direction is also compressed or shrink, shrinks. The applications 
um, my colleagues have been applying this negative personal ratio material to the design of implant and also personalized cast so the cast could grow with a boy or with a girl in all x y directions uh, the one in the on the top middle is uh, the design of metal materials with negative thermal expansion rate most material we find in nature they have positive thermal expansion rate. You increase the temperature, it will expand, the volume will expand. And here, by placing two materials, these two materials have different thermal expansion rate. When the temperature is increased, some parts shrink, and as a block, if we consider it as a material, effectively it shrinks. So this is a negative thermal expansion material. On the right-hand side is an electrical actuator. It is designed to move first to the right-hand side, then upwards. This is very useful for uh, MEMS. At a small scale, it's very difficult to assemble structures, so it's good to have uh, the actuator in one piece, and here is a compliant structure in one piece actuated by electricity, so it makes assembly not necessary. On the bottom left, uh, it involves natural convection, so the purpose is to dissipate heat uh, from the middle to the outside as much as, as fast as possible. Think of heat sink in your computer. And on the right hand side is uh, optimization regarding fluid. So the fluid will flow from this port, and then there are four outlets. Here, the objective is to reduce the pressure drop as much as possible. So, as you see, topology optimization is a very general um, idea. It discretizes the domain into elements and it play, the optimizes the material distribution within its design space on a per point basis. And in many, in the design of many products, the geometry would influence the performance regarding the physics. And um, if this is the case in your, in your uh, uh, project, you could consider topology optimization for, your, for the design, for the automated design. So this is the basics of topology optimization. We will have a break. Uh, after this break, we will particularly look into additive manufacturing uh, regarding the challenges and the opportunities.